Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, thanks. You like my jumper? Very, very nice. Wore it specially. Do you like my cap? It's okay. <laughs> so we are here today. I'm Mark Collington, by the way. Carter USM manager. Who are you? I, I'm Jim Bob. Carter USM, uh, the, the interesting one. <laughs> and what are we here to do today, James? We're here to unbox. It's very heavy. This, <laughs> this box. Ooh. What's it a box of? I think it's, as far as I know, it's just a box. It's box a of crack cocaine. Uh, until we open it, we won't actually know what's inside. But it's a very nice box, isn't it? It is a lovely box. It's Look at that lovely. You know, uh, I'm really particularly pleased with the uh, texture. It smells very nice. It smells like a newborn baby in the glistening sun. Some bit cherry red smokes. <laughs> 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 but it does smell very nice. It does smell very nice. Somebody asked me that actually, does it smell nice? And it does smell nice. Well, the outside does. I don't know what's inside yet. And look at that silver. It's so shiny, you can really see your face in it. It's like a mirror, but a silver mirror. Yeah. Lovely. The mirrors are silver. Well, not there. Anyway. Kind of like, anyway. Should we open it and see if there's anything in it? Might be full of cheese. I've got, I've got a, I had a box of cheese once that somebody bought me for my birthday. And it was exactly like this. It could be the same box, but inside it had cheeses. How many cheeses? Uh, about 10 cheeses. One of them was from Alex, Alex James's farm. Yes. There's a particularly funny story in my new book out next March. Also on Cherry Red. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's open it. I'm That's open. called marketing, isn't it? I'm I know, it's just thought I did it. I'm removing the lid. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> What's the first thing inside the box? Jim, look at that lovely silver. What's the first thing inside? Uh, it depends on where you No, yeah. Take us through it. This is, what would you call this? A pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> a booklet. A booklet, a booklet. This is a booklet and it's, it's got a kind of short interview with me and uh, Fruit Bat about Every album. All the albums that are in here. I presume what's in here is albums, isn't it? That's yeah. what I'm doing here, isn't it? And I don't like to big myself cheese. up, but um, it was me, myself, who did all the interviews and actually um, wrote the interviews here. We've seen many help on the subbing. Yeah. And um, it was fun, Jim, wasn't it? We had it some was, great yeah. quality chats. Yeah, and we discovered how little we agreed on the events of history. Yes. You and and me and Fruitback didn't sort of had completely different memories of, of how all the records were made. But that was um, fun. And there's nice little pictures on the bottom that you probably won't be able to see via this medium. And it took quite a long time to get the pictures. Because what I've learned over the years working with these two chaps, um, Jim and Leslie isn't here, is they don't really keep anything <laughs> in file. Um, if we do like a Bowie Ears exhibition, there'd be nothing in it because you don't own anything from your previous lines, really. But we found some stuff in the end. We did find some great exclusive photographs. We also found some... Um, Nice little bits of memorabilia. So that was quite cool, wasn't it? There was there was a day when well we hadn't found much, had we? And then no. uh, one day Les found some stuff in his garage, and then it just all kept piling out, didn't it? Yes. Because I was convinced we'd never had any photos of us in the studio of where we did the first four albums, but then Les found these photos. And there's also in there, you won't be able to see it. There's Jim's first version of a cover for Thirty Something which is very nice. Yeah. You designed your own self as a prototype cover, Jim. That's true. It's probably never been seen before, ever. Yeah. So, a nice booklet, basically. It is, yeah. That's a good start, isn't it? Yeah, it is a good start. A nice read. I like to think this will be read again and again. Yeah. And again. And I, it'll be something that people will treasure for years to come. And it's got the... I don't know. Spoiler alert. No, you can spoil. It's got the, some of the original pictures from the photo session for I Blame the Government which don't appear on the actual sleeve because because uh, it only ever came out as CD. So when we blew it up, it was uh, blurred. It was, it looked not very good. And Les also didn't like the fact that, um, how can we put this? Just Ooh. don't. Okay, I won't, I won't uh, cut, <laughs> cut this bit out. No, we just leave it in there. Something about it Les didn't like. You will never know what he didn't like. No. That will remain. We've already um, taken that bit out of the interview. Let's, oh, not, yeah. let's not put it on film. <laughs> So yeah, so when you get to that, when we get to I Blame the Government, it's got a brand new sleeve, which is yeah. exciting. So that's something to look forward to. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then it's got some thank yous on the back as yeah. well. And, yeah. Which aren't that exciting, really, because you don't know people. 
No, it's just some people, yeah. isn't it? Should we move on to the next, it's, next thing, Jim? Some unimportant people. Yeah. I and me. <laughs> Seriously. Do you know what? I had the idea for this box set <laughs> seven years ago. Seven years it's taken to come into being. All, and all now thanks to our friends, Cherry Red Records. We love 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 Cherry Red Records. Anyway, Jim, what else is in there? Right, this, this. I, like I like this. <laughs> well, what is it? Tell the young viewers. What does it look like? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I think it's, the, it's one of the original... Uh, I think these photos were taken... There was a series of photos taken by a photographer called Mark Baker in, must be like 1987, I think. Uh, on Primrose Hill, and um, I've still got that hat. That's in London for with, all you with, Northern people. Yes, right, that's in London, Primrose Hill. Um, I think this was for the original uh, sleeve of 101 Damnations, but it didn't get used. And we took, lo there were going to be loads of photos, and they were all going to be like that big, and they form like the spots. But when you actually shrug all the photos, they just just looked really shit. So. Didn't do it, but that's a great photo, isn't it? It is. He can't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> do you think people that buy this will put that up on their walls? I think they keep it. Yeah, that'd be not in a nice. frame. I put that in a frame. Yeah. Or or see what you mean. Maybe in the, not set the box. You know what? You need to buy two box sets, people. Yeah, I'm actually shocking. Yeah, it's Seriously, essential that you buy two. These should be on the wall, but yeah. we're not selling them separately. You need to buy yeah. two if there's yeah. any left by the time this goes out because they're flying out, Jim. They really, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what's um, next in there? Next. That's, it's another one of these. Oh, this is nice. Things. This is my favourite thing, actually. Is it? Yeah. Do you know why? Because it hasn't got any music on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all your face. There you go. Look at that. It's like a. So what, what is it, Jim? You know, it reminds me of. Uh, well, we got Andy Warhol did these. Yes. Last thing he did before he died. <laughs> <laughs> he stole the pictures from the front cover of the Radio Times. Oh no, that was me, wasn't it? But this is uh, this is Post-it Story at Monsters. Um, Front cover image. I don't know if Cherry Red knew that we were sued for using this image. Cherry Red don't take care of stuff like that. <laughs> I think um, enough time has passed <laughs> that we get away with it now, do you think? So were any of these actually going to be the cover? Why did you go for the white version in the end? Obviously there are alternative covers there to post story. I, th I think this was, uh, this was uh, uh, one of the Richards at Cherry Red did this, I think. No, came up with this idea. didn't come up with the idea. These were sent in by Les. One of the Richards, it's not, it's not, it's not a derogatory term, everybody at Cherry Radio is called no. Richard. You sent this through. <laughs> these were um, ideas of what the album could actually look like. This come from you, there were four different versions. Oh yeah, you're right, yeah. So these were, it was an yeah. alternative artwork. I think we were trying to disguise the image that we'd stolen from the... Where Radio Times. Yeah, probably so the, so my question is, were you tempted to go one with one of the different colours? Maybe, yeah, but I, that's... I mean, that looks like a car, most like a car to one. Yes. I tend to go like red. I really, I really like red, black, white. That's it, really. Not really, don't really like colours, I've noticed. All quite angry colours, Jim. Maybe you've got a dark so soul. Said wearing an orange jumper. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So now we get to the, um, but once again, lovely inner frame by two. Um, what? Well, um, three, because you've already. Well, no, if you get one, you it's fine yeah, okay. one one to mock up yeah and one to just kind of keep. like have some fun with it also I should say it comes in wrapped in cellophane oh yes and that when it's in cellophane it looks it looks so nice that it's, it was a shame to, it was like cutting into a cake it's a shame to take the cellophane off so i'd probably buy three <laughs> one to keep for the cellophane one for these and then one with everything complete this be the longest unboxing video ever. I haven't got to the albums yet. Yeah, no, that'd be quick. Yeah. That one, the second one, third one, fourth one. So, so this, first album, Jim. So what I should say, all these covers, what's one thing that's different? Oh, okay, yeah, go on. Is that they're in, I don't know which ones were originally, which ones weren't. They're in a, in a matte finish. Yeah, so for you people that don't know, matte means it's cooler <laughs> and not as glossy. Think about paint on your skirting ball compared to paint on your walls at home. Yeah. But no, we, but we made the decision to make it matte, didn't we, for more of a cooler edge, yeah. make it a bit different. And it looks nice, matte. It's like, but, but, yeah, I'm not going to be matte, it's a bit confusing. <laughs> That's the other half of people at Jerry Red are called matte, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so yeah, so there's not much to say for this apart from... Apart from what, Jim? I mean, it looks nice, looks good. Oh my God. Oh, it's white. Doesn't it look nice white? It does look nice white. 
As an aside, coloured vinyl fans, um, when we were working on this project, there were many um, comments and requests from the um, fans to make sure it was all coloured vinyl. Yeah. And ourselves and Cherry Red listened, and we did do the um, coloured vinyl. We did. And we got sent a list of colours through when we were kind of um, choosing the colours. Don't spoil and it. Don't spoil it, shall I wait till we get there? Okay. Well, that one, the only I one I can remember. Up. But some of the colours were quite strange names, and They've you got, didn't believe yeah, them. Yeah, got really, f are they? Presumably because it's the record industry, so they have to be a bit wacky. And crazy and maverick, but we'll get yeah. to that in a minute. Class, the classic. 30 something. Gatefold sleeve. And obviously, no expense has been spared because the sleeve is still gatefold, like the original. Yeah, did a, this ever come out in a non-gatefold? No, didn't, did it? but fact fans, there were many different covers back in the day because I was trying to work out which one to replicate. And when it was reissued, there was a blue logo on the A, the T and the R. But we went with the classic rough trade version, fact fans. There yeah. you go. Okay, so everybody on there. And what colour is this one, Jim? This person here is now old enough to wear this T-shirt. That's your daughter, James, eh? Yes, yep. Now a teacher. Interesting, now a teacher, yeah. In South London. So I wonder what colour this is. Which you guess? I guess it's going to be um, purple. Red. Okay. What red's that though? It's a very vibrant red. So I like that. Do you know what? I that would say. Was that like that on the original? No, type? that's a very good point, Jim. So that's really good. That's very New York Giants or something, yeah. isn't it? We wanted to make this special. So as you will note, is that there has been some nice little individual design touches throughout. So you will notice that what are those bits called that actually go on the records themselves. Labels. The labels, that's the one. <laughs> you know, it's the don't swear. <laughs> Notice that the um, labels are different than back in the day. Brand new, designed, hot to trot, as are some of the inner sleeves. We've done some new fonts, some nice little design touches. So it's all rather splendid. Yeah. And so it's... Um, so yeah, far though, very good. kind of... Now this is my favourite now coming up. This is... Because I, I, I haven't had a sneak peek before, obviously. I love the colour of this one. It's so vibrant, Jim, and marvellous. Do you know what this reminds me of? The EU. <laughs> Good old days. <laughs> what, in the pre-Brexit? Yeah, or or who knows? Who today, knows yeah. anymore, I know. Anything could happen. We're filming this, um, viewers, on the cusp maybe of a revolution. Yeah, as uh, Nigel Farage in secret meetings with Boris Johnson. True story. Maybe there'd be no world by the time this goes out. But anyway, oh, you like this colour? But look at that, that's spectacular. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Quite beautiful, in fact, Jim. Do you like it because it's the colour that Tunbridge Angels play in? I do is it, indeed. Is that a guess? Is that, do they? They do play in that blue, but it wasn't why I liked it. It's not that colour blue. I think it's very vibrant, James. Right. One thing that people might not be happy is that uh, oh, yeah. Cherry Red have insisted on removing all the swear words from these lyrics. Not, not really. <laughs> but one thing Jim isn't happy with on this album is that Les insisted. There was a big debate on where after the watershed top 20 single back in 1991, Should Em Go. It could have gone on the B-sides and A-sides collection, which we'll come to later, but Les insisted on putting it on this album. You're not happy about that, Jim, are you? Oh, yeah, not happy is an exaggeration. I'm uh, ambivalent. I'm, I'm sort of towards the, I'm sort of towards the Marmite end of ambivalent. There we go. I don't really mind, but he cares more about it being on here then I care about it not being on here, that makes sense. It does make sense, James. Because originally James. it was supposed to be on the album, but to me it sounds weird being on there. Because, uh, but you know. What number did that album get to in the charts, Jim? Uh, I can't remember, number one, I think. It was number one. Yeah. There we go. It's around the same time we headlined Glastonbury, but that never happened. <laughs> anyway, on to the number four album in the British pop charts. Someone's put a copy of the Radio Times in there by mistake. What Jim is referring to there is that that I've cover... i no, no, you didn't give reference to it though. I did. Fact, you stole it off the Radio Times. Yeah, we said Radio Times enough times to remind... Why is this on the Radio Times remind. to be watching this? Maybe Trevor cut this bit out. I think this is... I dread to think what colour that is. <laughs> that's, good. That's, that's called dinosaur... Dinosaur round. shit. If they, if they found some dinosaur shit... That's what colour it would be. Why is that bright? That was supposed to be green, wasn't it? It was, but... Oh, green, because something else was green. We wanted to use as many colours as possible, didn't we? Yes. As many colours as a rainbow. We've only done it once. <laughs> yeah, we've only done it, yeah. All the colours of the rainbow. Everyone's favourite colour, brown. 
but to be fair, it's quite a dark album. Yeah, there's not much more to say about this, is it? Let's, because these, these, aren't, these haven't changed apart from the colour, so that's exciting. It is exciting, but once again, I, I like to add, Jim, the, in, the in covers inside, they are very, very nice, and if you look at them once again, what, what are these things called again? Records. No, the bits in these labels. bits, labels. Look, they're brand new labels. The originals don't have these labels. Oh, don't they? No, so go and compare them with your old versions at what home, kids. The, what the albums Things have? like EMI slapped on it and really boring yeah. and unimaginative. So these are much better. Do you know I didn't know that? Well, you know, I think by about the time this album came out, I stopped looking at the records. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy being on the crack cocaine and the heroin. Yeah. yeah. We didn't do that, honestly, people. Um, Worry Bomb. And this is different than the original. Do you know why? Because uh, it was a double album. It was back in the day. With, with a live... live with a li but, but that didn't qualify, because there's no live tracks on this. No. This is the studio recordings. Yeah. No, no live gummings. And the second... Uh, this did come out. There was also a version without the... Yes, yeah, that was only CD, wasn't it? Yeah. Is this, this, one, this come out on vinyl? It did, I've got it We haven't vinyl. reached the point yet where vinyls No, we will reach that very soon. This becomes exclusive. So everybody's wondering what colour this is. Let's have I'm going to take a wild guess. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's green! It's very green. Doesn't that look great? And look at the little explosion on the other side as well. I mean, that's very nice. Look at that. Beautiful. I think that's my favourite, apart from the blue. Yeah, They're okay. all my favourite, Jim. They're like children. Maybe you can't have favourites. The, three, the, three, the first record by the three-piece band. Indeed. And the first record when you had your fringe cut off as well. Yeah. The famous fringe. Although I did find a photo the other day. No. Too boring to explain. <laughs> there we go. That was. There you go. Just seeing if it reminds me of anything. Look at that. Touch genius. Your black attitude yeah. at the time. Here we go again. So where are we going now? Are we going for. No, we should go, I think, for. I think they're in order. I think we should go for Dave next. Well, they're not in order then, are they? No, well, it's, it's me, I'll put it back in the wrong way. We had, we had a little um, warm up before this, viewers. Uh, let me light okay. the amongst magic. We'll, come to the, we'll go for the main albums and then come back to the uh, odds and sods. The odds and sods. Or the special, little, or the special ones. So, this, uh, we, we, when we thought when we decided to do this that this had never been on vinyl before, so that sort of made it slightly more exciting. And then uh, at least two people pointed out that they, <laughs> they had vinyl copies. So. Yeah. You know what the internet's like? Yeah, I think you'll find you're wrong. I got a copy in 1998 from our price. Yeah, that's Mr. Spoon's our road, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it? But not many people had this on vinyl before. No. As a fan, I never did. And of course, not with this track listing, James. No, well, I didn't have it on vinyl. Didn't know it existed. No. So it's still a mystery of how that happened. And, but this one has got the extended version, right? It's got a three or four additional tracks. It's the... Extended EP that came out in the States. It's the 10... 10 track as opposed to this, the six. six or the nine. Yes, the six, nine, nine and ten, there. yeah. Never mind the quality, Mystery. sure the Absolutely, that's what my wife says. <laughs> Colour, <laughs> this is our first repeat. But I think oh. it's a different shade of red though. It's Dave red, it's definitely, yeah, the other one was more, had a, had a kind of a puce yes. <laughs> thing to it. So this is um, Do you know, if you've got any, if you know anybody called Dave, which, let's face it, it's got to be 75% of our audience. This is for you. So people should buy four you can, copies yeah, maybe then. Yeah, Frank. Yeah. We can have that, like, you know, as your mind starts to go round right about now. <laughs> have that above your toothbrush in the morning, so you know which is yours. But um, you're quite a fan of this album, Jim, aren't you? And you're late to work. You quite like it, as you discovered going through the old album. Yeah, because I had to listen. No, had to listen to. <laughs> I, I, because I had, because I had to in a nice way listen to all these. I was surprised. Uh, not surprised. Pleasantly surprised. I was sort of, yeah. It changed my my uh, my memories were challenged. Because I can't get this one out. You, you talk about that <laughs> because I, you didn't think this was a. Great album, right? Yeah, I, thought, I thought it was good, but I, I thought that this one was, this is my personal opinion, this was a much better album than this one. But then I realised this is a much better album than this one in my preference. Yes, yeah, it sounded really good. Anyway, what do I know? 
And now we go to the last studio album, I can help you with that, because I've got smaller fingers than you, Jim. I'm not sure what that means about life, but let's go for this, let's go for this one first. All right. Yeah, then, then we go for the um, Oh, collection. so yeah, we're doing that, are we? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. this, what's this, you say? Never <laughs> seen that before. This is, uh, this, who did, who, who did this? It's the guy that did the whole box set design. I think he was called something like Keith Davey. I'm gonna go and check the um, booklet. But he designed all of the stuff from, I think it's a company called Alt Music that Cherry Red used, but he's very good. Yes, Keith Davey. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, so Keith Davey came up with this as a, one of the, as an alternative to the one of the picture of six of us. Um, yeah, and it's, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, like a, like a, it's not a passport, is it? Like a House of Commons briefing yeah, folder document yeah, type yeah. thing. Although it's, it says House of Commons, we had to change it from House of Commons because we were, uh, Theresa May got in touch and said she was going to sue us. But that was before the Brexit woes really set in, which is yeah. a bit more time at hand. Yeah. But, um, so that's good, and it's got like a, a back to it. So this colour is, oh. It's good, I like this colour. It's kind of like, I'm going to say Ribena. I'm going to say purple. Mm. Mauve. Hot debate, right? And this is this goes against the what you were saying earlier. But the way it's like doesn't really have anything on it. No, but what I mean is, but look at the other side. It's quite different. That's wicked, and that's actually made of real leather. So that's what you get for your hundred and eighty pounds. <laughs> real leather. What are they called again? Sleeves. Labels. Oh, Labels. <laughs> okay. yeah. I can't remember. So. I've been very sick this week, actually, yeah. um, viewers. It's taken me a long time to kind of get back to um, health. So just be grateful I'm on this video, actually. What's next? I'm sure everybody is. <laughs> ah, this is exciting, James. One of our first two it's a picture of double our old, albums. picture of our old car. That's a true story, isn't it? What? That used to be your old car. Yeah, this old car was features in uh, an episode of Ali G, whatever it was called. In the house? Yeah. Not, not deliberately, but he's doing one of his hilarious skits and we get stuck in traffic behind him. Oh. Me and uh, Mrs. Jim Bob, his car was vandalised and eventually towed away. This is one of those things that uh, when this car was uh, vandalised and taken away to, for scrap, it wasn't worth anything. But since then, since we've reformed, it's become slightly more popular. It's probably like wor be worth something to someone. Yeah, shame you sold it, Jim. It's the state of life. It's just trashed. Did you get your money for scrap, no? No. Oh, shocking state of affairs. What I will say, while Jim's doing that, Lambeth is Kills. that this album, as you know, Starry Eyed and Bollock Naked, came out in about 1994, and it was all the B-sides at the time, along with Glam Rock Cops, which was the current single. What we've done here, and this is very, very exciting, is we've combined every B-side Carter ever put out with all the singles that aren't on the albums. This is, this is what this does. It's the singles plus the B-sides. Yeah. And so it's pretty no, it's damn not. good, right? It is. It's not singles. It's the singles. It's not singles. The singles not on the albums. Yes, it is. This is not the singles. It's the singles that weren't on the albums. I see, right. I thought you were saying it was all the singles as well. It's you basically see. mopping up the stuff that isn't elsewhere. Yeah. But by using we the original premise, of, um, what, what number did this get to in the chart, the original yeah. version? Number one, I think. Number 18. Was it? I can't it wasn't bad for a B-Sides collection. Yeah, blimey, yeah. Yeah, you know. what you give for that, that now? Would be, right? Yeah, right. Still, all these things together have sold like 100 times more records than Ed Sheeran. Not difficult. Because no one buys his records. And yet, he's more popular than us. Work that one out. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what colour is this one going to be? this is orange. <laughs> <laughs> Tis. Nice though, right? Look at that. Did you wear that jumper specially? I did, yeah. Just for this, for the unveiling of this. Now, obviously, this is not going to stop you buying it. Um, Jim then thought the other one should be green, not orange, because then we go into a green kind of inner sleeve. So you were disappointed, weren't you, this one? Was I wasn't orange. disappointed. I just thought it was going to be green. But it's not, it's orange. That's right, though. A, a two orange special. Why have one orange when you can have two? Absolutely. That's what I say at Christmas time when I'm opening up my stocking. Some sort of sex with you, isn't it? <laughs> What's that got to do right. with sex? Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah. 
And this is a slightly better image than the original one, isn't it? Some of the images the image are really better. It was the, a bit um, shit. Old Keithy it? boys touched it up. Yes. We've well, never met Keith, have we? No, probably best. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Should be nice. We don't know, do we? <laughs> then we're very grateful for his art and design work. Wait right, a minute, this is the last one. It is the last is one. It's too soon. We've come to the end, haven't we, already? Oh, apart from the, the thing that we can't show anyone that's in the bottom, the secret thing. That oh, what, the secret thing? That they have that to buy. That we're not advertising. What one you have to buy five copies yeah. for to the, get? The download code. <laughs> <laughs> Spotify playlist title. Anyway, um, sorry, I've been sarcastic. This is the sound of an eclectic guitar. What's on this one, Jim? But this is this is uh, all the cover versions that Carter recorded, um, or recorded and released because there were some we recorded but we didn't release. Well, I didn't know that. Uh, like very early on, no. but we didn't. I mean, we don't even, we don't even haven't even got them. No. Just, I'm just saying, just yeah, in case, so just in case somebody says, "Oh, hang on." Yes, you, I thought you said all the studio <laughs> recordings, not the one you didn't release back in 1989. I'm going on the internet now. Yeah, not that one. Checking Twitter. No respect. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so and this, so when this this came out in Japan originally, and it was only on yes. CD, I believe, uh, and it was called. This is that, but they corrected the title to the sound of an electric guitar. And it was a pun, Jim, wasn't it? It was it, a pun, yeah. Place? It was a corrected pun. Mm, they ruined that, didn't they? They did. But, yeah, I like, because I liked it when they gave a Japanese used to rename things. Well, so they told me, because I think, I wonder whether it might have been a lie. So, Hun Van Damnations in Japan was called Exploding London Diary. True story. That's a great title. Yep. But they never told us, we just found these yeah. things out. Anyway, but this is different, isn't it? Because the, the inside is completely different because there never was an inside. No. And you, I think your story about um, Cherry Red being worried about the um, Yes, about the legal falls thing. on its arse here a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's, <laughs> it's got a Madonna image, <laughs> which I think is asking for... Uh, more trouble than more calling it House of Commons and the government. Yeah. But, you know, it was run through the legal department. And it's got all the, the uh, sleeves that these things originally appeared on. Uh, including, what's that? That's the letter you gave away oh, on the free single. Oh yeah, it's got that on there. And what colour, Jim? Let's go for the last colour. Is, is it one or two colours? I reckon. One color. Well, this, is, this is the only colour I remember, for obvious reasons, the actual go on. the actual technical term that was on the list. No, I the, thought it was no, Mark being ch childish. No, but we didn't go for that, that version of it. We went uh, for a different one, but okay. there was an option. Do you there was, was one that was, we wanted yellow. One of the options was called Piss Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Which you don't get a B and Q, do you? <laughs> it was piss yellow, isn't it? I think we went for something like zesty yellow in the end. Yeah, zesty piss yellow. <laughs> we 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 evened it up by going for shit brown. Didn't we? <laughs> but yeah, piss yellow. But it's nice though, doesn't it? Yeah. But we've already so that's damaged those sleeves, but that's fine because we're just rocking around maverick. When you have your own copies, you should be a lot more careful. You with can them. damage them yourselves. Yeah, I, I'd recommend yeah. buying six. Is this copies. one piss yellow as well? Yeah. That one doesn't come. Or zesty yellow. <laughs> That's part of the um, thing you've got to do at the end. What we should say as well, that all these... Yeah. All these... Oh, it's good. I've never seen I never. I've never seen that. Oh, shit. All that. Nice, isn't it? That's what I mean about old Keithy changing Why have up. I've never seen that. Those labels, you mean? The labels. Yeah, you've learned I, I remember the labels. So these are called labels, and these <laughs> vinyl think These aren't called vinyls. People call them... Have you heard that? Young people, uh, uh, heavy, no. especially in Australia, they say. You know. well, I, you got any vinyls? I got a vinyl, mate. <laughs> you got any vinyls? Put another vinyl on the Barbie. But yeah, is that, is that, is that, is that a racist? Yeah, that's oh. a bit racist. But you got to be careful these days. Yeah, don't put your vinyl on the Barbie. But yeah, that is the um, wow. That is that's a plethora. What I was going to say is these go on. these have all got music on them. Oh yes, yeah, so we should mention the music. Yeah. That's a very good point, it's James. It's not just for show. No, so we did, actually, and I hope you agree that buys this amazing collection, put a lot of love, care and attention in the... Um, yeah, the amount of times I had to great. listen and re-listen to these fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> because um, Cherry Red were very, very keen that it sounded as good as possible. And I, I learnt a brand new word, sibilance. Is that the right word? Yeah. And you've learnt label today. <laughs> yeah. And apparently sibilance, if you, if, you, if you don't know, is when you get like a really beardy sound, is that yeah, correct? It's, it's, it's a bit like... We had to master them to avoid sibilance. Damon Albarn is, is, is naturally sibilant, what? for example. What, he's a pain so in he the leaves his, you know, He leaves his sibilance into it. He's got a slight... Oh, I see. 
Yeah, and it's, it's, usually, it's usually sort of, uh, I don't know who. But um, if you don't master the vinyl correctly, you get some sibilance, don't you? Yeah, if you're trying to make them too loud. Cause it's, uh, that's because there's a limit on, on the vinyl. If anybody doesn't know that, 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 that there isn't with something like, uh, that's something that isn't vinyl. Like a stream, a bad quality stream. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so a lot of love, care and attention was spent making these sure these all sounded jolly yeah. nice. Because if because I noticed because if you listen to these a lot of the, especially the EMI ones or Chrysalis whoever, or that you can they're all on YouTube. And I had to listen to one the other day for something or, and they well, they all sound like they've been sort of played through a, a wet sock. So I don't know what those are. They're the um, sibling special. Sort of lower than it lower than MP3 sort of quality. So that was the unboxing of whatever this, of the... It's called Carter, the Unstoppable Sex Machine, the studio recordings, 1988 to 1998. As I said, every release Carter song ever. Yeah. And if you've got a Carter song that's not on this, it's not an official studio recording, to put that in your jumper. Yeah. And now, the boxing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bit that you don't, you don't often see, is when one of the um, artists puts it all back together again very yeah. nicely. And then we can attempt to put the shrink, shrink wrap back, back on. Yeah, that, that could be difficult, but... Yeah. So anything more you want to add to this, Jim? To this um, great um, uh, sense of occasion? Are you happy with how it's turned I, out? Yeah, I think it's amazing. I'd, li I'd love... Yeah, I wish I'd like to band enough to buy something like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's Is not it, true, but I... Yes. But I think it's probably the, I, the um, ultimate item. For any yeah, I, I'd say if you don't own this as a car fan, then you're not really a car fan, are you? No. So if you're there on the internet every day going, are you doing another gig? <laughs> are you doing another concert? You've got no right to say that unless you buy one of these. And yeah. they are limited, I should say this as well. Only a thousand of these will ever be in existence. It's like real, li real limited, not fake limited, no. where, where they're limited to as, as many as they can sell. Cherry Red have basically had to lay off four staff to make this um, <laughs> yeah. thing happen. Two, so they are not prepared to risk. Two have had to <laughs> yeah. back on the door. So they're not going to risk making any more of these bad boys, are they? No. And it, it look, I mean, it looks just like as a piece of uh, object d'art, yeah. as a little bit of furniture. It looks nice on a table. On a bedside table. It's good anyway, really. Operating table. And you, you could probably eat off it. And you, you know, in this current, current day and age where you can't get a plate, if you go to a, like a gastro pub, and you know, you could. Two plates. There's two. Oh, there's 11 plates. Yeah. And two bowls. And in these so post Brexit it, times, who knows how much plates are going to cost? Think of it as a, a crockery set. Yes. I think 11 plates and two bowls. I've quite enjoyed this unboxing video. Yeah. And fruit bat couldn't make it, obviously. Right, we've rehearsed it. Should we film it now? Yeah. <laughs> fruit bat couldn't make it, could he? He's in Folkestone. Yeah, he's. No, he's, no, he's, he's going he's, to shine he's on. Gone to, he's playing at Butlins at the moment, this weekend. On the Sunday. Mm. So, yes, that's why it's me rather than him, but I know you, you fans prefer me anyway. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>